What's up, y'all? I'm here to talk about the super sick Gorgeist buffs and changes. As always, though, I want to have a quick disclaimer. If you are a new viewer, to check out that description, uh, there is a link to the same Google Sheet that I'm sharing right now. You can look at all the other Pokemon buffs and changes, and most importantly, you can check out the 600 plus move buffs and changes. Those are critical to understanding how the Pokemon are going to function now. Uh, not to mention, you can't look at these buffs and changes in a vacuum. Uh, first of all, you can see all the new ability functions and all the other stuff uh, on the Google Sheet. It took me several months just alone to make the uh, move sheet, let alone, I mean, everything else is taken, you know, over a year at this point. But um, yeah, please give those a look. Took me a lot of time. Definitely worth your time to look into it. Don't use the videos as a sheet substitute. That is not ideal. Uh, but yeah, Gorgeist, awesome, awesome bus. Uh, super and small are now a choice. I, I understand that ability evolution ability jesus i the evolution method is what i'm trying to say i understand the evolution method is pretty scuffed uh gem evolutions are nothing special in this hack that's like a very common way to evolve pokemon either branched evolutions or just pokemon that are a violet viable so therefore you don't have to be annoyed or pestered by constantly trying to evolve because evolution items like strictly items like stones and stuff i can't place those in the game i can't move those around um in the overworld so i can't control at what point in the game you get certain stones and certain evolution items so it's better to just make it consistent make them all evolve with a gem or leveled up and that's it um but yeah you can pick between super and small size they all have awesome things small size has quick claw on burden quick claw is now a consumable item that always triggers so you get double speed guaranteed you can invest max in your hp to make your bulk a lot better because your natural bulk is already great so your hp set is bad but of course you still have really good stuff like you know uh 122 defense and 109 spadef and then the super size is much more defensive with grassy guard over unburden the whole line has flash fire uh which is so fitting for Gorgas. It's a, such an such a cool ability in my opinion for them because they're these jack o' lanterns, you know, with this this ghostly jack o' lantern with this fire inside of them, which is why they've learned fire moves before. So I think giving them flash fire is super sick and gives them a nice, you know, just a lot of defensive utility and offensive utility because then they get stab on fire moves. If you switch it in on a fire move or a beta fire move from the AI, now you're chilling with that uh fire stab. It's super super sick. Um and you have lots of great fire options. You have mystical fire for defensive utility that drops attack and special attack. Um you have burning malice, which is stronger and the earliest fire move that you get access to. Not Catholic Sunny Day, of course. And then you have Will O Wisp, which is great obviously. And you have Flamethrower and Fire Blast for later on, which are all really awesome and strong. Um you have Strength Sap, beautiful, beautiful move for them. All the Grass Ghost types have that. Um, great bulk, especially on Super Form. I mean, 101, 122, 109 is awesome. Ghost Grass with that Fire Immunity is also pretty damn great. Uh, keep in mind, I didn't mention this in a Trevenant video, but Ghost Grass is now weak to bug because Ghost Fighting and Fury no longer resist bug. So you do get an extra weakness, so you're weak to Fire, Flying, Bug, Ice, Ghost, and Dark, which is one, two, three, is six weaknesses. So it's not ideal, but it's workable especially with your good bulk and then you have uh, an immunity to, immunity to fire and only five weaknesses with flash fire so you gain an extra immunity so you have normal fire and fighting immunity and the thing is with this with this game uh i balance it so all pokemon have two viable abilities that they switch between with their infinite usability capsule so essentially you're using flash fire when there is a fire type move on the opponent's team that you need to switch in on or that you need to counter Otherwise, you're not using Flash Fire. It's, it's literally that simple. That's the beauty of having immunity abilities in this game is that you can just tack it on when you need to. Otherwise, you're running the other ability, which is either Grassy Guard or Unburden. I already covered by Unburden's great. You know, you can use also just Quick Claw and Asty Plot, for example. Keep in mind that a first impression will force Gorgeist out instantly, especially on a small form. You're not taking one on the small form unless it's like non-stab, non-boosted. Then maybe you could take one with investment. Probably could. Um, but my point is, like, in general, you're probably going to be forced out. Uh, so sweeping 6-0 won't happen, but you can definitely get off a lot of kills. Or you can bait in the first impression user, swap out, kill it, and then sweep afterwards, you know, save your quick claw, that type of thing. You know, you can always be smart and cheese the AI. I'm sure you can probably get at least somewhat of a sweep going. Not a complete 6-0, that won't be realistic, but you can totally get, like, three or four mons dead if you play it correctly uh, and set up at the right turn. So yeah, Calm Mind or Nasty Plot with Unburden is great. Calm Mind, you could even say, is better because you do have Strength Sap to heal, so Calm Mind, Unburden, Strength... Uh, calm Mind, Quick Claw... Unburden plus Strength Sap is beautiful. You can also use other things with Unburden, but honestly, all the other items are most, for the most part, outclassed. Like, you could use Grassy Seed and Grassy Terrain. You could use, um, you know, White Herb with Spectral Beam or Leaf Storm. You could use any of that type, you know, Focus Sash, all that stuff. You could use it, but there's no reason to win Quick Claw is so easy. Um, and you can get off that setup move in one turn. So, yeah, that's great. Great utility also. Like, you don't have to use Unburden offensively. You can use it for utility as well. I would actually think I think that's a great idea. You know, just with Strength Sap and Will-O-Wisp and Unburden. Uh, very, very good fast utility Pokemon. Uh, or a small. Very worth using. The beautiful thing about being able to pick between the forms is that you can essentially 
depending on the IVs and nature of your Pumpkaboo and your other teammates, say for example, if I had a Grassy Surgeon and I'm playing Team Locked, so I can't switch my Pokemon around, I'm going to get the Super Form because I already have a Grassy Surgeon Mon. Uh, if, I, if my team is pretty slow, I might get a, some, a small form because I want that speed. You know, simple as that. You can really just pick and choose. Or, you know, if, if I had max speed EVs, IVs and a plus speed nature, I'm definitely going to pick the small form. Uh, if I have like a minus speed nature, I mean, you could still use small form with a minus speed nature because uh, even with zero speed investment, you're outspeeding everything in the game after an unburdened boost for the most part. Everything relevant, at least. Like, relevant meaning, yeah, technically another Pokemon with an unburdened boost or speed boost would outspeed you, but that's not like relevant uh for the most part i mean internal unboosted metagame that's a better way to put it and it's not a metagame let me rephrase that it's unboosted game it's not a metagame none of these busts and changes are intended for competitive play but i'm sure you probably know that by now if you're listening this far into the videos um yeah oh you're super quick you hit 468 speed and that's when if you have zero speed ivs you're still hitting 406 if you have a minus speed nature you're still hitting 364, but you're still at speeding base 110. Uh, that's 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 speeding like base 115 almost speed Pokemon uh, with a max speed nature and max speed investment and plus speed nature. So you're at speeding everything in the game, all right? If you got really unlucky with a minus speed nature or, and you didn't choose the super form for some reason in that case, you can still outspeed everything with like 20 speed EVs. You're outspeeding everything, so that's awesome. That lets you put more investment in bulk. Uh, they are not special attackers. I wanted to differentiate them more from Trevenant and. Delmize, um, I guess, spoiler alert, Delmize type isn't getting changed. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Decidueyes, it's going to be a mixed attacker still. So it just helps Gorgas be a little bit more unique as a special attacker. I also think it fits more. I, I mean, I know they have like those hair whips. Uh, I did consider Tangling hair, but kind of mid as an ability, honestly, for them. Very mid, uh, <laughs> honestly. So like, it's not terrible, especially on the small form, but like Unburden is way better. Uh, and yeah, I picked only two forms because it, number one, it saves me time because I hate having to tick the little boxes in PK3DS for TM and tutor compatibility. Oh, I would have hated to do that for all of the forms, including the Pumpkaboo forms. So basically, there's only one Pumpkaboo. This also saves encounter slots, which are going to be very crowded in this hack. So that saves encounter slots, and you just pick between the biggest or smallest form. That's the most simple way to do it. Nothing else is realistic. And also, like, the differences between, between the forms at that point would be super minimal and not that cool. In this case, though, it's like a huge difference. You know, you one has way more HP and has Grassy Guard, which is, I haven't even covered yet why that's an awesome ability. Uh, Leech Seed, Strength Sap, Grassy Guard under Grassy Terrain is, like, fucking immortal. Max Pedef, Max HP, Soul Absorb, Grassy Guard. You get the residual healing from Grassy Terrain terrain you get leech seed healing if you want to run that you get leftovers if you're running that it's such a beautiful ability on bulky pokemon especially which i mean all the grassy guard mons are bulky but it's great super sick uh really really fun uh you can use terrain extender you can set up grassy terrain with somebody else and then parting shot into your gal guys to have full move slots you can even grassy terrain and then leech seed and then switch into your gal guys to run four moves you know with soul absorber uh terrain boosted giga drain coming off of 109 base special attack is very strong as well um so yeah grassy guard can be great defensively as well and offensively as well excuse me you can use it with stuff like ingrain and calm mine ingrain Oh, you could theoretically use like White Herb Ingrain actually at level 40. That could be kind of funny because Ingrain gives you a Calm Mind boost, but it lowers your speed by five and it locks you well on the field. Uh, but it gives you residual healing. So that would be really good with, uh, I was thinking mostly for Grassy Guard Super Form because you get the terrain healing, you get the Ingrain healing, you get the defense boost from the terrain and Grassy Guard, and then you get Spideff and Special Attack and you're just like immortal at that point. You can use Giga Drain and all this other fun stuff. Soul Absorb is also really great, especially on small form. Soul Absorb is great because your base HP is very low. So you'll be healing a lot of HP from Soul Absorb because Soul Absorb is Nightshade, but it heals you. So that's awesome. Uh, Strength Step, like I said, beautiful move. You do have Forest Curse as well on Gowergeist because Trick or Treat has been repurposed into Spectrify, which most ghost types get. Um, that's also an Omni-boosting Z move, both Forest Curse and Trick Room are. But Forest Curse is obviously much better if you watched the Trevenant video and you know what that does by now. But if not, you can check it out in the Google Sheet for all moves, but I'll say it now since I'm in the video. Uh, Forest Curse is literally just, it's a curse, but for free. It has 3pp, so you essentially curse the opponent, and that's great, especially for Grassy Guard. Oh, so good. You know, that's why I put it a little bit later than on Trevenant, also because it's Trevenant's move at the end of the day. So it's at level 50 on Gourgeist, but Gourgeist, I don't know why I keep saying Gower. Gourgeist, uh, level 50. Forest Curse, beautiful, beautiful. You know, you got that Grassy Guard. You can just stall things to death with Strength Sap, Grassy Guard, Grassy Terrain. You don't even need the Grassy Guard boost, honestly, but it's there. Um, in that case, you know, and then you can just stall them and four turns later, they're dead, you know, so that's you. That's awesome. Um, you can only do that three times though, but you can, you know, that's still, that's still plenty of terms. Uh, anything more is kind of overpowered. Yeah. Other than that, I don't, I don't know what else to say. They've got great coverage, you know, aura sphere, fire moves, psychic, that's really all the earth power, sludge bomb, signal beam. And then you have your dual stab, grass and ghost, which is pretty damn good. It's, it's got, uh, I think I said dazzling gleam as well. So 
Yeah, uh, great utility. You know, you got that parting shot, strength set. Oh, it's just beautiful Pokemon, all right? As always, um, they do have priority in the form of Spook and Leaf Flurry. Uh, pretty good on Super Form, especially because it's slower. Um, yeah, I could cover a few more things, but honestly, I think I'll just leave the video off there. I guess I'll say Magical Leaf, which gives you a plus one to the death boost now. is pretty cool with Grassy Guard as well, um, with that physical defense boost. Yeah, super sick buffs and changes for uh, Gorgeist. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you listen this far into the video and you're new here. And please check out the uh, description. Again, I really do insist that you check out the description and look at the changes yourself. Uh, the videos are not enough of a substitute. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.